let me move on to di number 7 so friends here they have given three tables chart right at the top of the table chart where we can find the total patients are 70 crores so the first table chart patient in various continent right so friends out of this 70 crores the first table chart where patients in various continent that is asia is 32 percentage of patients and europe is 10 percentage australia is 6 percentage right and the second chart where various disease in the world that is cancer aids tb and other diseases and the third chart friends listen carefully the third chart cancer patient in various continent right this third chart particularly for the ca cancer patient right so cancer patient in a various continent similarly they have given asia europe australia south america and north america like that so friends totally there are 70 crore patients so let me move on to all the different question based on this table chart question number one the number of cancer patient in australia is what percentage of total number of patient of heart disease in the world so friends we need to carefully solve these types of question right which is most most important where we can find these types of question in a toughest level exams right so listen here friends we know that this question is in the format called is what percentage every time while solving a da question i am repeatedly saying if the question that is based on is what percentage then the question will be in the format that is x is what percentage of y so we can say that x divide by y into 100 so friends the numerator x that is cancer patient in australia and the denominator y that is odd disease the number of patient or disease in the world okay friends first of all let me find the numerator part that is the value of x so friends listen carefully we need to find what is the total number of cancer patient in australia right so friends first of all we know that totally there are 70 crores out of this 70 crores we can find how many cancer patient are there so cancer patient which is 30 percentage friends out of this 70 crore 30 percentage are cancer patient right so friends listen carefully out of this 70 crore right where 30 percentage is cancer patient so we can say that 70 into 30 divided by 100 right so friends we can easily solve these types of question faster but understand the concept clearly right so friends crore right so crore as 70 don't forget this one crore which has seven zeros right okay so 70 crore out of this 70 crore cancer patient has 30 percentage that is 30 divided by 100 so we can cancel 0 0 and we can cancel 0 0 so 7 3s are 21 so 21 crore is the totally the cancer patient that is in the total continent the cancer patient is 21 crore but our target to find only cancer patient in australia so friends the third chart cancer patient in various continent right so cancer patient in australia that is five percentage so out of this 21 crore we need to find what is five percentage friends so we can surely say that five percentage will be australia cancer patient so friends out of this 21 crore we need to find what is 5 percentage so 21 into 5 divided by 100 so resultant will be 1.05 so friends what is this 1.05 friends right someone someone says that this is 1 lakh 5000 or somebody say that this will be 10 lakh 5000 friends remember that all the values are given in crore so this can be written as friends most important thing this can be written as 1 crore that is 5 lakh so friends got the logic so finally we got 1 crore 5 lakh patients are there that is cancer patient in australia right okay second thing we need to find what is the number of patients of odd disease so friends we can say that odd disease will be 22 percentage out of the 70 crore so out of the 70 crore where 22 percentage were odd disease that is the denominator part friends so denominator which is 22 percentage of 70 crore so i can say that we can cancel 0 and 0 i think uh, we can write this as 7 to the 14 reminder will be 1 7 to the 14 15 so 154 divided by 10 can be written as 15.4 so friends 15.4 the meaning is 15 crore and 40 lakhs so friends most important thing it is 1 crore 5 lakh it is 15 crore 40 lakh right that is 15.4 so friends we need to find x is what percentage of y that is x divided by y into 100 which shows that 1.05 divided by 15.4 into 100 so i can write this 1.05 and the denominator will be 15.40 into 100 so friends here we can say that we can cancel two decimal point two decimal point so finally we can write so it's equals to so one point we can cancel decimal point so finally we can write this as 
105 divided by 1540 into 100. So we can cancel 0 and 0. So this can be written as 1050 divided by 154. So 154 can be, if I divide this, it will be approximately 6 percentage. Right? We take it as an answer that is approximately 6 percentage. Right? So finally, we got 6 percentage friends. Most important and most interesting question. So friends, out of this 70 crore, listen carefully, the cancer patient is 30 percentage. Out of this 30 percentage, our target to find one day Australia. So the Australia will be 5 percentage, right? So we have found the numerator part that is 1 crore 5 lakh. And similarly, we have found the odd disease in total number of patients that is odd disease in the world, which is 15 crore 40 lakh. So after cancelling all the values, so finally we got 6 percentage for question number 1. Question number 2. If the total number of patients increased by 10 percentage every year in Europe, then what is the difference between the total number of patients in Europe after two years and the total number of cancer patients in South America, right? So friends, listen carefully. It is one of the most, most important concept for data interpretation question, friends. Not only for this chart, right? This question can be seen in many competitive exam if they plan to ask a tough level question friends our target to find the difference that is for total number of patient in europe after two years and the total number of cancer patient in south america right okay so friends listen carefully friends if the total number of patient increased by 10 percentage every year so every year 10 percentage is increased and our target to find after two years what is the total number of patients in europe so friends, you know the compound interest formula, population increase, population decrease. We use a formula, right? If it is population increase, P into 1 plus R by 100 power N. That is a compound interest formula. If it is population decrease, then we use a formula that is P divided by 1 plus R by 100 power N. So friends, most important formula, friends, listen carefully. If you don't know this formula, just take a note of it, right? Friends think that we are in 2017. In from 2017, after two years, what is the population? Then we need to use a formula that is P into 1 plus R by 100 power N. Now we are in 2017, right? If they ask what is 2014 population ago, right? Population ago. Then we need to use a formula that is P divided by 1 plus R by 100 power N. So these two formulas are most important. We use these two formulas in the case of population increase that is population ago and population ends. So friends, here we need, first of all, we can find what is the total number of patients are there in Europe, right? So friends, we have 70 crores. So out of this 70 crore, Europe, how much of Europe is 10 percentage friends. So I can say that 10 percentage of 70 crore. So 10 percentage of 70 crore will be 7 crore. So finally, we have found that total number of patients in Europe is 7 crore. So friends, we need to find every year 10 percentages increase. So our target to calculate for two years. So friends, listen carefully. Population so population after right so after population that is after two years we need to use a formula that is p 1 plus r by 100 power n so friends where p is the principal that is the reason population that is 7 crore so r is the rate of interest we used to call it in a compound interest formula that is rate of interest here we can say that every year 10 percentage is increased so the rate of percentage will be 10 percentage and the number of years we need to calculate for two years so the value of n will be 2 so if i substitute all the formula friends so friends, if I substitute all the values in the formula, the P will be 7 crores. So 1 plus R will be 10 divided by 100. We need to calculate for 2 years. So this can be written as, we can cancel 0 and 0. So this can be written as 1, 1 by 10 square. So 7 into, so friends, 10 plus 1 will be 11. So 11 divided by square. Friends, got the logic, right? So this can be written as 11 square will be 121. So 7 into 121 divided by 100. So we can write this as 7. 7 to 14. A reminder will be 1. So 847 divided by 100. So this can be written as 8.47. So friends, what is the meaning of 8.47? In the previous question, I have told you, right? This determines that 8 crore 47 lakh. So this can be written as 8 crore 47 lakh so finally we have found that the europe right see here friends the number of patient increased by 10 percentage every year so our target to find the patient after two years in europe so the patient after two years in europe is 8 crore 47 lakh so second target we need to find the total number of cancer patient in south america right okay so totally we know that 70 crores 
so out of the 70 crores what is cancer patient friends cancer patient which has 30 percentage so out of this 30 percentage our target to find south america so the south america will be 40 percentage so i can say that out of this 70 crores where 30 percentage will be the cancer patient so out of this 30 percentage where south america will be 40 so 40 divided by 100 so we can cancel 0 and 0 and similarly we can cancel both the zeros so friends 4 into 3 will be 12 so 12 into 7 divided by here it is 10 so friends 7 to the 14 reminder will be 1 so 84 divided by 10 which can be written as 8.4 so friends 8.4 can be written as 8 crore 40 lakh so friends clear on the concept this is 8 crore 47 lakh and this is 8 crore 40 lakh we need to find the difference for this right our target to find the difference so 8 crore 47 lakh 8 crore 40 lakh so the difference will be 7 lakh so i can say that answer for this question that is difference is 7 lakh so friends i hope that you can be able to understand this concept clearly if you can't able to understand this concept clearly just i think you might learn this formula newly right so if not just take a note of it or otherwise go to my youtube channel uh, where you can find uh, simple interest component interest data interpretation if you watch those videos then these types of question will be so easy so friends this is one of the most important question for most of the data interpretation topic so friends every time while going for an exam don't forget to learn these types of questions so finally we got 7 lakh that is the difference for question number two question number three if the number of obesity patient is increased by 6 percentage and the odd disease patient is increased by 22 percentage then what is their new ratio so friends our target to find the ratio right after increasing there is obesity patient by 6 percentage and odd disease patient by 22 percentage so friends our primary goal is to find a ratio right so friends listen carefully out of this 70 crores right how many of the patients are obesity friends obesity patient will be six percentage so out of this 70 crores six percentage are obesity similarly out of 70 crore our target to find how many are heart disease so heart disease will be 22 percentage 22 divided by 100 so friends next most important thing right here six percentage is obesity and here 22 percentage is heart disease so friends obesity patient is increased by six percentage from here if the obesity is increased by six percentage so i can say that 106 percentage divided by friends got the logic from 100 percentage if i am saying increased by 12 percentage then we used to call it as 112 percentage from 100 percentage if someone is saying decreased obesity is decreased by six percentage so we can say that if it is decreased by six percentage then 94 percentage friends clear on the logic here the obesity patient is increased by six percentage from 100 if obesity is increased by six percentage we can write it as 106 percentage so 106 divided by 100 similarly here the odd disease is increased by 22 percentage so this can written as 122 divided by 100 so we need to find the ratio for this so we can cancel 0 100 100 similarly we can cancel both 100 friends we can cancel 70 and we can cancel 70 so the remaining values are 106 into 6 ratio 122 into 22 i think we can cancel this on two table friends if i cancel this on two table 11 times if i cancel this on two table three times so similarly if i can we can cancel this on two table right if i cancel this on two table five twos are ten three twos are six if i cancel this on two table six twos are twelve so 61 right i think we can't able to cancel anything so finally this can be written as 3 into 3 will be 9 so 5 into 3 will be 15 so 159 friends so here it is 61 into 11 61 so friends see here 61 into 11 so this can be written as 61 into 10 plus 1 will be 11 so 61 into 10 will be 610 61 into 1 will be 61 so 671 so finally we can say that 671 so friends the ratio for this question number 3 will be 159 is to 671 so friends in this da we have solved only three different question but all the three different question are most most important friend why because in the first question we have learned what is the difference between 7.04 and 7.40 right if it is 7.04 then it is 7 crores 4 lakh if it is 7.40 then it is 7 crores 40 lakh in the second question we have learned how to use a formula that is a population ago and it is population ends right so population after population ago we use a two formula that is used in the compound interest and third thing we have learned increased by or decreased by so friends this da is most most important 
so friends don't forget to subscribe my channel and share this video to all your friends so that your friends can also learn this so friends subscribe my channel and go to my youtube channel where you can find many different videos on quantitative aptitude and reasoning so enjoy all the videos thank you so much for watching this video bye